Hello and welcome back. Today I will be unboxing another product from Temu. This is the most expensive product I've ever bought from it. This is the G1 Metroplex. Um, it, it's normally priced about $115. I had a $30 coupon. So it came out to $86 with free shipping. Interior box and packaging looks very nice, very nice. It's wrapped in um, bubble wrap. And uh, here it is, here is the box. Um, I'm surprised how well the the quality of the box is. It's a, it's a shiny. Um, I can't tell if this is a, any different from the um, original box. Uh, there's a, there is a, a little dent in the corner. It is taped in, so let's open this up. It's packed in styrofoam. And I would imagine that this is probably how the original um, G1 box looked like. Um, I wouldn't know because I didn't have it as a kid, but um, yeah. It comes with a package of stickers and instructions. It's got a bag of accessories. There's quite a lot of accessories. So we have the two main guns. Um, the quality is not bad. Um, the quality is not bad. This plastic doesn't feel uh, terrible. We have the fists. The guns. And we have the bad boy himself. Um, he is really tight in here. He is, he's a little smaller than I thought he would be. A little disappointing. I thought he'd be bigger. I really thought he'd be bigger. <laughs> he's, uh, he's really quite small. Um, I, I'd imagine that you know, this was his original size uh, in the G1. Um, but I mean, oh come on. He, he's, he's really small. Small boy. Uh, okay. So here is a Metroplex out of the box. Um, comes with uh, several large blasters and cannons. Um, there is a bag of goodies. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of accessories here. Gun, this little, uh, I think this is a scamper. Um, this is this little bot. And um, all the different pieces. Here is the instruction sheet. A sticker sheet and instructions. And uh, there's going to be a lot of stickers. We also have the red decoder piece. Here's the instructions. Uh, these are two big sticker sheets and um, Okay, these do look like they are paper, paper stickers. Um, the surface is a bit metallic, but these are paper. Uh, not completely metallic foil stickers that, um, like the ones that came in the G1 Optimus Prime. So here is Metroplex, G1 Metroplex, knockoff G1 Metroplex from Temu. And uh, here you get, here's everything you get. You have the main city bot, quote unquote city bot, because he's kind of small. I was actually really kind of shocked when I opened it up and saw how small he actually is. Um, you get six gun. Uh, which is basically a parts formula. They, they, you know, they took some of these cannons and Metroplex's cannons and like you know various pieces and made a robot out of them. But um, actually, finally putting him together, I, 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 I have, I, I kind of like it. I, I kind of like six gun. <laughs> um, the only articulation is basically you know these guns are gonna <laughs> uh, rotate, uh, but uh, otherwise, and I guess his um, his legs peg in, in the back, and um, you know his legs can kind of tilt a little bit. But um, yeah, he, he's not really meant to like articulate. Uh, we have um, his little car scamper. Now, scamper, I mean, the plastic feels a little cheap. I mean, in general, um, I'm not terribly impressed with the quality of the plastic. Now, I'm not going to not um, put that up to basically the chaos, chaos status. Um, so I really don't know. I didn't have, I didn't play with the original G1 Metroplex, so I don't know how good the quality is. But, you know, um, the original toys, they had various um, various levels of quality. For example, uh, Sound Blaster, the original G1 Sound Blaster, I have a reissue. And the plastic is just horrible on that one. So, you know, that almost feels like a knockoff, uh, even though it was, it's original, it's original reissue. Um, so, Scamper, this card, you know, the plastic really feels uh, very cheap, very thin. Um, I mean, it does its job, it transforms his arms, uh, becomes uh, his guns that, you know, you can, uh, you know, you can take in. So he's got these blasters. Um, 
I'm, I, I actually do like this design, um, especially when you, you know you got these menacing guns on uh, on top here. Um, but the plastic just feels really cheap. Um, the other thing is, uh, so you know, uh, in terms of quality, right? Um, there, my Metroplex, you know, there are in bits of um, plastic sprue and flash. Basically, these are extra or bits of you know, you know, the parts where they cut it off. It's not completely flush, or you know, they didn't do they didn't do a terribly good job, um, you know, moving all the uh, stubble and stuff. So there's lots of uh, stubble, um, and I got a problem on his forearm where um his forearm let me, let me see if i can show you yeah it doesn't quite lock into place i don't know what's going on here um it doesn't quite lock into the place so it's a little it's a little it doesn't really you know hurt the playability or transformation but it just doesn't uh, it's, it's a little loose it just doesn't quite lock in flush and again you can see you see, you see the um the molding stubble here the problems i'm seeing in metroplex looks like is not because of the ko uh, remake because if you look at the box art, you can see we're here, see the same gaps in his forearm, um, and uh, you know, and the gaps you know, uh, on his elbow, um, that I have. So it looks like I uh, just was a problem with um, with the original mode. You can see you know, there's all kinds of little uh, gaps and whatnot. A little disappointed, um, at his small stature and in you know, the quality of plastic. Uh, it also, as well, um, this he's got a big sheet of stickers. It took me like an hour to putting it all on. Um, these stickers are gonna, um, come off. Um, I, I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I, I need to figure some way to, um, you know, they peel a little bit, like, oh, for example, as you see over here, um, you know, they come off a little bit. Um, so, so in addition to, um, the three robots, uh, you also get this, uh, tank. It comes in two parts. Um, I do appreciate that, that you know, they, they try to give you a lot of accessories. This part here, right, is supposed to uh, come peg to the back over here, uh, but it's very loose. Um, I think another toy reviewer said, uh, said, said um, his had the same problem as well. Uh, so, um, six guns, right? He, he's a parts former, and he'll become part, uh, components of uh, Metroplex, right? So you just you know, move um, his arms, his legs, um, and whatnot, and then uh, you know, they become a weapon uh, for Metroplex. So, um, let's put uh, Metroplex's uh, giant guns or cannons on his fists, right? And um, they do come with missiles. That shoot. Uh, so, uh, yeah, see. Yep. So, uh, here's a bit of trivia. Um, one of the recent um, phases of Transformer Toys, right? They came out, Hasbro came out with um, a version of Six Gun. Uh, they called him, I think, a Red Cog, but um, he is basically Six Gun. And Red Cog is a parts former too, so he doesn't really transform. He's, he's just made up of all, like, uh, you know, different. Um, Parts, you know, a true parts format that just goes together, um, and I, I, I really didn't like it um, initially because you know we all hate parts formers, right? And you know this thing falls apart like crazy. But um, yeah, now that I have G1 Metroplex, I kind of see where they were going with uh, with, with Redcog. I say he is small in stature. He really is. I mean, look right here is G1 Triptychon. Right? Uh, Triptychon's bigger than him. He, and Triptychon is substantially bigger than him. <laughs> and um, of course, here is him next to um, the current Titan class Transformers. This is Fortress Maximus. And yeah, you know, it's a, <laughs> you know, it's a G1 Metroplex. I, I was really shocked how small he is. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, as always, please, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.